Hello, Brenda Fisher here with Missouri State Admissions. First of all, congratulations on your acceptance to Missouri State University. That is so exciting and we're really happy to welcome you. So the purpose of this explainer video here today is to show you how to access and set up your email account through Office 365. Um, you are going to need a couple of things handy before going into this process. So let's talk about those first. First, you're going to need your BearPass username. It's going to be something similar to the one that you see here for me. A combination of letters and numbers consisting of about seven characters. And then you're also going to need your BearPass password. This is something that is created by you when you activate your Missouri State account after getting accepted into the university. So if you haven't activated your Missouri State account, it's important and necessary that you do that first before being able to access your email address. So once you have these two things handy, you can go ahead and start with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to portal.office.com. As you see here, um, I'm already on the page, but I'll go ahead and show you. So you will get um, redirected to a page that looks like this. Once you're here, you will go ahead and um, put in your username slash email account. So you're going to take that BearPass username, which you can see mine again here, and then you're going to put at login.missourystate.edu. So it's really important that you put this login part after the at, because if not, you're not going to be able to access that email account. Um, it's just a technical thing that Missouri State does, and you do need to do it in order to log in. So make sure that you're putting that at to login portion after your username there, and then missourystate.edu, and then you will hit next. Here you will enter the password that you created that I was just mentioning, um, your BearPass password that you created when activating your Missouri State account. This is going to be the same password that you use for pretty much anything Missouri State, such as your My Missouri State, Blackboard, um, anything else on campus. So make sure to keep that handy. So once you hit that sign in button, you should be redirected to this page here. It should look just like this one, Missouri State Office 365. And then what you'll need to do is look for the Outlook tab. Um, it'll either be over here on this left side or maybe up above, but you need to find this one. It's the blue little envelope icon and it'll say Outlook. And that's the one that you're gonna wanna click to access your email. So once you hit that Outlook icon, you should be taken to a page that looks just like this. Um, once you're here, you are done. You have access to your email account and you can also click on your icon up here and it'll show you that email account that you use to log in. Um, it is important to note that this is going to be the one that only you use and you have access to because it's going to be what you need in order to log into your email address. Um, but the email contact that others are going to have for you isn't going to include that login portion. Again, that's only for you. So just make sure you keep that in mind when maybe giving out your email address to others, but university um, employers or professors should have your other the other version of your email address to be able to contact you effectively. So once you're here, again, you are done. When logging in, you might have been prompted to verify your account. This is totally normal. It's something that is done by Microsoft. It's just an added safety and privacy measure. So go through those steps if you are prompted to do so. Um, it's a short process and then you should be in to Outlook um, as you see here. But if you do need any help, feel free to reach out to the help desk at Missouri State or also to us in admissions and we'll do our best to try to figure out what's going on. But again, it's important that you activate your Missouri State account before trying to access that email address. And then don't forget that login portion when logging into Microsoft. Once you see that Missouri State page, you should be good to go. And hopefully this runs smoothly for you. So I hope this was helpful. Again, let us know if you need anything and take care. We will see you soon.